Hey, what up? Jumpy Joe. Just here, gonna make a little quick tutorial on importing to Pro Tools. Or if you're not, uh, or if you ain't even got Pro Tools, we could just show you quick how to, you know, maybe free up some of your RAM so you can uh, add more VSTs and stuff. I'm gonna start with the drums. I got the uh, Abbey Road 70s. And I'm just gonna solo my kick drum. And then over here, I'm just gonna click and hold this. And I'm gonna drag it into Pro Tools. Now make sure you uh, make sure you got the tempo of your track the same tempo as machine, so it all lines up here with the with the measures and everything. Let's go back to machine. I'm going to solo the snare. I'm going to do the same thing with this button here. I'm going to drop it in here. And now we got my snare in there. Go back to machine again. So let's solo the hats. Once again, click and hold. Drag and drop. You don't even have to create the audio track because it will do it for you. Okay, and then I just got a sample quick I'm going to throw in there. Still working on the track, so it ain't done yet, but I'm just going to show you how to import all of that as well. And let me get rid of this. So let's mute that. Let's go into this group. And I just got. I'm just playing a few of these little riff sounds here from uh, George Duke Soul Treasures. Alright, let me, uh, alright, let's see, transfer, all you do is, uh, once again, you just click and hold this, import it, drag and drop, okay, go all the way down, and there we have, you know, you can rename the tracks as you please, got my kicks, then we got the snare, hats, and let's just put this as the sample for now. Okay, so I got it all there. I can press play, and it, let's see, let's get it to loop, make sure it's looping right. That's pretty simple how to get it into Pro Tools. I kind of actually like it a lot better than anything I've ever done before. Alright, now if you don't have Pro Tools, we can get you into this a little thing. I haven't seen a video on it yet, but uh, here's what I like doing. This. So once again, what I'll do is go to my drums. I will solo the kick, and what I'll do is drag this. Okay, instead of dragging it to Pro Tools, what I'll do is I'll drag it to like pad number two. Okay, and then uh, go back to this. Solo my snare. Drag. Drop it on to pad number three. Go back. You're going to solo the hi hat. Right there. And that's pretty much it. You can name these so you know what they are. Yeah. Snare. Hats. Now, if I come here and mute this track, all I got to do really is, uh, I just got to double click here and throw the sound in there, 
and it will play it out the whole the whole path. You can even go as far as um, editing it too if you wanted to. You go into your sampler. Oh, it says no recorded samplers. Hang on, wait, maybe this didn't work. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. It must be working. Wouldn't you think if you could hear it? Okay, let me see. Sampler. Oh, yeah, edit. So there you go. That's your kick, your snare, and your hat. It pretty much, instead of dropping it in the Pro Tools, you're just dropping it right back in this program. And you could free up, you can, you know, pretty much close out this. Uh, you could reset your, your contact, get rid of that. You free up your space. You, know, you free up more RAM. So you, I mean, you pretty much got all your shit. I mean, it's a good, quick way to free up memory and stuff. I like using it. You know, if you're not done, you want to keep adding and keep adding and keep adding but just make sure you got it to the point where you want it because once you get it in here you pretty much lose the sequences and all that I mean I guess you could no actually you can't I mean you, you probably could just no uh, you still would have that you know tied up in your system so basically make sure make sure you know what you're doing and it's what you want then drag and drop it and then you can just go ahead and affect all this stuff here like you would do any other sound okay and same with the sample if I want to go to the sample I would just um, what do you call it unmute that mm, then I would just go ahead and drag and drop this to pad number two call that sample uh, let's see go into here and double click and I can get rid of this gone so now I pretty much freed up a lot of my memory you know just by getting rid of both contacts and pretty much you can go right in here too if you wanted to and chop up what you actually you know played out in the um, George Duke thing pretty much uh, chop that up too if you wanted to redo that but other than that that's all it is.